these are some of the parts that make up a gun. A frame, barrel, slide, trigger components, magazine. But back to the frame, usually that's where this goes, a serial number. If it's manufactured in the US or imported from abroad, it's required, it's the law. Except for guns that completely avoid regulation. And those, they're called ghost guns. Do it yourself, DIY. You might think of these two, Pinterest, a lamp made out of spoons, but guns, unlikely. Traditional firearms are manufactured by licensed companies um, and sold from licensed gun dealers. A ghost gun is a firearm manufactured from parts in the home of an unlicensed individual. So there are a few ways to start your DIY gun project. The first is to go to a licensed gun seller, buy a receiver, which has a serial number, and then pick out and order the rest of the parts you want. The second way, go to a website, buy a kit like this one, or this one. It ships, you open it, and inside is your brand new 80% receiver. An 80% receiver is a receiver that is 80% complete. You get the unfinished part, that ATF does not consider a gun yet, and then their directions on how to use your drill and finish this part. So if I can do this, anybody can do this. A ghost gun in the hands of bank robbers. White supremacists charged in Maryland. The gun used in last week's deadly school shooting in Santa Clarita was a ghost gun. Law enforcement says they're untraceable. When a manufacturer makes a gun, by federal law, that gun has to have a unique serial number. A serial number on a gun is a key piece of evidence. It allows them to trace the gun from the manufacturer who built it, to the gun dealer who sold it, to the person who first bought it. Since 1988, more than seven million guns have been traced to solve crimes. But without a serial number, ghost guns are untraceable. Federal authorities say that nearly a third of firearms recovered in California are homemade, unserialized, and untraceable. It was 1968 when our federal gun laws were written. A lot has changed since then, especially technology. And like many other aspects of our laws, they aren't keeping up with the speed of technology. And that issue it creates dangerous loopholes that make it far too easy for criminals to legally make their own guns. There's no way to know just how many ghost guns are in circulation. We do know that they're a trend, one that undermines our system, that nullifies our gun laws and our safety, and tips the scales entirely. One solution? Limit the sale of receivers to those that have been completed and marked and serialized. That would mean that those parts would be required to have a serial number and sellers would need to conduct a background check. Washington State, California, Connecticut, and New Jersey are the only states with laws aimed at stemming the tide of these untraceable weapons. Changing the legal definition of a firearm would go a long way towards keeping guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't have them. And that means saving lives.